All right, it's Saturday. That means that it's actually Catter Day. Got my friend Felix here, he's helping me out today. My name's Sam Treadway. Uh, I'm the owner of Back Bar here in Somerville, Massachusetts. And I'm just, during the coronavirus closer, closure, trying to stave off boredom and have some fun with you guys over the internet. So I'm bringing you some ingredients, maybe answering some questions from that uh, have come up over the years at Back Bar, you know, and, and, and uh, debunking some mysteries. So it is Catter Day. Um, so I got my awesome cat t-shirt. This is my favorite one. That's a cat with a monocle with a top hat and a cigar riding a unicorn breathing fire, which is just the best. So, Catter Day, and uh, we love cats here at Back Bar. We're also known as Cat Bar sometimes, but people see our cool collection of little tiki mugs that uh, have, that are cats, and oftentimes they say, hey, like, what, what kind of drink comes in the cat mug? I want the cat mug drink. And uh, we were always like, well, anything you want, really. Like, we've served a beer in these cat mugs for guests that want it. Um, but they are in the family of tiki mugs, so we always suggest, hey, well, yeah, probably try a tiki drink. And I wanted to make one of my favorites, um, slightly forgotten uh, tiki drink, the Fog Cutter. Because it's going <laughs> to... After you drink this, you're either gonna create a fog because you're a little drunk, or that citrus is gonna sharpen your sen senses and you're gonna get through the fog. But this is the Fog Cutter Cocktail. Um, it is uh, surprisingly gin-based, gin but it has a little bit of rum and cognac to help along the way. It's a boozy number, so probably only have one or two or make some for your friends. Um, but yeah, here we go. Catter Day, Fog Cutter. Um, you're going to want some fresh lemon juice, cut a lemon in half, a half ounce of that, Whoop. and then you're going to want some fresh orange juice. I'll let you, I'll let you slide if you like just have orange juice in the fridge, you want to use that instead of juicing an orange. I I'll let it, I'll let it. All right. Fresh squeeze of orange, whoa. All right, half ounce of that. Then, uh, Orgeat. So Orgeat's something that you can buy uh, at, you can buy it online, you can buy it in a, uh, a lot of cocktail supply stores or liquor, shop, liquor stores will have it. It's an almond syrup. Uh, most brands don't have alcohol in them, some have a little bit. We make ours in house and we fortify it with a tiny bit of brandy. Um, but Orgeat um, is a French almond syrup. Uh, so definitely findable in stores. Um, all right, so that's our non alcoholic ingredients, just a little bit. Now the boozy stuff. We're going to have uh, some cognac, half ounce of that. That's going to add like a nice rich body. Uh, aged rum. Got some uh, Bacardi 8 year right here. Half ounce of that. Then the gin. We're gonna do an ounce of London Dry Gin. I got Bombay Sapphire in my hand. You know, you can use whatever you got at home. And most recipes call for a float of sherry. Um, but since this is going in a tiki mug, you're not really gonna get the uh, visual effect of the float and you really want all the flavors mixed in there so I'm just gonna shake the Amontillado sherry right in there I got uh, Listau sherry my favorite mixing sherry um, uh, been to their bodega is really fun stuff um, so that's the cocktail right there a lot of recipes don't call for bitters, but I just like a little bit of orange bitters to emphasize that fresh orange juice we put in there. So just a few uh, dashes of orange bitters. Now I'm gonna shake this up. Here we go. Once again, 
my little propped up situation doesn't let you when I slam down the shaker. Check out that shirt though, right? Am I right? And by shaking up all that ice, I kind of turned it into crushed ice already. So I'm just gonna dump that right in. If you magically have crushed ice at home, great, use that. Um, I have uh, my other cat tiki mug right here. If you have a awesome reusable or compostable straw, throw it in there. Um, I like to garnish it with just some of the lemon and orange that I already cut up. So I have uh, just some lemon slices, orange slices. I need a little bit more ice though. There we go, really fill up this tiki mug. And there you have the fog cutter. Fun classic. Um, definitely you can search it online and see all the different recipes that are out there. Fun thing about uh, tiki drinks in particular, but also pretty much all uh, alcohol recipes is there's a lot of different versions of them. Uh, you know, drunk history is just that. It's a little drunk, so it's a little hazy. Um, so you might not find the same recipe in the same places. This is the one that I like. Hope you enjoy. Happy Catter Day, and stay safe out there, guys.